so great to be here in the National Gallery of Canada in what I would call the inner sanctum of modernity that's on view, uh, talking to you about Frank Bowling's Middle Passage, which he painted in 1970. So this painting is called Middle Passage, which is a reference to the forced voyage of slaves from Africa to the New World. And it's this incredible journey that it makes reference to. And I think it's an interesting metaphor for the reference to its arrival here in the galleries. Prior to the bowling painting's arrival, this, this space was really all about modernism. It was about color and form and a lack of story in a sense. The Barnett Newman, Mark Rothko, Clifford Still, these were painters who are known for taking story, for taking a reference to form and the lived experience out of their paintings. And so for Frank Bowling's work to enter these hollowed halls and take that on and really own the wall from the point of view of both form and color, it just sings as if it were an abstract expressionist painting. But when you look closer and you reflect on its title, it does so much more. It starts, you start to see the outline of the African continent and of the Americas. You start to see faces and profiles of people that may have very well taken that journey. And so suddenly you have not just the first black artist to enter this gallery, but also the first artist to really tell a story about lived experience within a narrative that is modernism, but one focused on form and the absence of that narrative. And so it's a really important moment in both our history here at the National Gallery of Canada, disrupting that canonical narrative, but also for our visitors to come and experience something new that's so bright and that kind of swallows you up in, in the light that it exudes and at the same time invites you in to, to be part of and, and experience a story which you may or may not have uh, a connection to.